Oh yeah, you can hear them squawking. That one talks too. <laughs> that was a good tail. One's breaching. Breaching, Andu. Breaching. Like breaching? Way over there. You could hear it land. I was like, what's that big slapping sound? And it's way over there, like miles. Like way far. Like you hear it land and it was like, and then it was like uh, the sound would come. There, look. Boom. Like the sound takes a while to come here so far. Whoa, one's closer. Look. There's a closer one too. There's a closer one right there.
So that was quite the humpback show we were treated to. Today we're headed uh, from Campbell River, leaving Campbell River where we've been moored for a month, um, living at the RV park and doing stuff on the boat. Now we've uh, set sail for a couple months on the boat. And first stop is a place on Cortez Island, not too far from Campbell River, called Gorge Harbor, just over this way. And we're going to go in there and try to find a place to anchor for a few days. And then after that, head over to Lund to drop Anne. And Anne's going to stay with the boat, and then I can come back and get the trailer out of the RV park. And then we can uh, take the trailer over to Lund, put it in storage, and continue on on the boat. So we'll give you a look at the anchorage in this video. Yeah. Come somebody behind you. People can do that. People have to pass you right at the narrowest part. We made it. What? Whirlpool. You want to go on the river, Ducky? Good morning from Gorge Harbor, Cortez Island. Woke up this morning, so clouds and rain. Nice little anchorage though. Very peaceful. Another boat over there. Another interesting boat. Tied to shore over there by the looks of it. Old sailboat and a small power boat.
Well, they say it should clear up by about 2 o'clock. August 2nd, 2023. Well, much different view. About six hours later, all the clouds went away. Sky turned blue. Sun came out. Everything warmed up. Just finished our dinner and our little sundowner drinks. Just thought I'd give you a view of the Gorge Harbor Anchorage right now. Getting right near sunset. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Water's all nice and calm. Got some seals playing in the water, slapping their tails. Well, that was quite a nice place to anchor. Spent a couple nights there. Had a little problem leaving. The anchor was coming up and it was laboring quite a bit. Mostly because of that uh, rain and cloud we had. Our house bank of the lead acid batteries got run down quite a bit. And uh, so when it was coming up, it uh, caused the winch motor in the, the windlass to, I guess, draw too much current and it popped a breaker. And I. I forgot it was in there and I, was, I actually tried to lift the thing manually but uh, then it dawned on me, oh yeah, there's a breaker for the windlass. So I went in and sure enough it was popped and we were able to, to get it up. But uh, that makes me think I'm gonna have to put in a, a lithium bank sooner than later. So my new plan with the electrical is I'm gonna have the starter, two G AGM batteries are just gonna run the boat starting and the bow thruster. And then the big golf cart battery bank is gonna be used for the, the windlass and stuff. And uh, I'll keep it in reserve. And when we're, uh, can't, we're off grid uh, anchored, we'll use the lithium bank. Because the lithium bank, I can take it right down to zero and not worry. And then I'll have my golf cart battery bank in reserve. So when we're leaving, if, if the when I can flick to that and I'll have fresh batteries for uh, starting the boat and running electronics and bringing the anchor up. Anyway, a little learning lesson there. So we're gonna have three banks of batteries. Anyway, there we go, going back out that uh, cool little narrow entrance. We're actually going back to Campbell River for a night. We had ordered some uh, parts for the engine from down in the U.S. I think it's a U.S. Diesel Corp. or something. They have all the parts for the Ford Lehman engine. But uh, going shipping took longer than we thought. So it's like it arrived about an hour before we had to leave the marina. So we're going back and we're going to uh, pick up all those parts. I'll have to show you all the parts. We ordered about $4,000 worth of parts, 4000 Canadian. I just want all the parts on board that I can, as many as I can have. So if we're really weighed in the boonies, I might be able to fix something, or at least the mechanic will have the part available to fix this quickly. So here's another adventure for you, Gorge Harbor on Cortez Island. Till next time, Ray from Love You RV and Boat. Cheers, guys.